channel Embracing Chaos. Thank you so much for stopping by to check in on me this week. And actually, I'm stopping by to check in with you. <laughs> if you're new, you're welcome. And if you're a returning friend, thank you so much for coming back. Today, we're just going to do a quick weigh-in review. Not my favorite one, but I'll do it anyways because I love you guys. And then I'm going to do a challenge check-in. I've been doing a four-week challenge with Susie Bowie over at Susie's WW Journey. I will link her channel and her Facebook page down below, so make sure you guys go check her out. And this is a Getting Back Our Health Challenge. And I'll go into that a little bit more after I tell you guys what my weight is. So, as you guys are all aware, really there's no excuse. It was Halloween last week and my daughter bought me a bag of candy and I ate so much of it. And it was downhill from there. As Susie would say, once I ate like half a bag of that candy, my mindset changed. I got that stinking thinking and then I went to Burger King and ate a darn Whopper and some jalapeno bites. That's the first time I have had a fast food hamburger since February. I'm kind of surprised it didn't upset my stomach, but it didn't, so <laughs> I guess there's that. But on the negative side, I gained three pounds this week. So did I meet my 60 pound weight loss goal for this week? Mm -mm. I'm back to a total of 56 pounds lost since February, so not a deal breaker for me. I know what I did wrong. I'm gonna learn from it and use the tools that I learned from this little holiday attack, candy attack, call it what you will. So the next time it happens, I'll be better prepared. So that's the nice thing about WW. Every meal is a chance to start fresh. So fresh start with the next meal and all I can do is move forward. No point in hanging on to the past. I made a mistake. We all do. I'm human. So there's that. Okay, so let's review the challenge. Like I said, it's a four week gaining back our health challenge. Each week she gives us a physical activity to work on as well as a little project to work on. So the very first week, our physical activity was standing up about once an hour or during each commercial break and walking in place for 25 seconds. And then our project for the week was to find five things about our heart that we're grateful for. So I will link last week's weigh-in video up in the corner if you guys want to go back and review the things I discovered about my heart. This week, we were supposed to walk in place and do bicep curls. And that's simply just holding our weights out and lifting them up to our shoulders and then extending our arms down to our sides again. So we would do that. 10 reps while we walk in place for 25 seconds. And again, I tried to do it about once an hour. I did miss some hours depending on where I was at with my day and how work was going. And then other options. I mean, the point is just to get up and move it. I guess she says once an hour or during commercial breaks, but really getting up and moving at any point is fine. It's just about getting up and moving. And then for this week's research project type thing, we were supposed to find five things about the lungs that we're grateful for. Guys, I was really impressed. I mean, I'm a nurse, so I have some background in like lung functions and stuff, but I looked into it more this time. You know, I wasn't like I was studying for a test and had to memorize every single little fact. This was a relax, let me look into everything the lungs do and find what interests me type review. And I learned a lot of stuff this week that I didn't learn in nursing school. And I'm not saying it wasn't there. I'm just saying I didn't need to memorize it for a test, so. <laughs> And if I did, I forgot about it, but you know, it's been a couple years. Number one, obviously they help me breathe. And where would we be without breathing? Number two, they take in air and they disperse oxygen throughout my entire body. And how do they do that? Well, if you remember last week, our heart is what pumps our blood through our body and it carries oxygen to all of our organs. So the lungs bring in the oxygen, the heart pumps the oxygen throughout the body and it feeds all of our organs, our heart, our brain, our lungs, well, clearly, our kidneys, everything. And without oxygen going to every single one of our organs, those would, they would die off. We need to breathe 
in order to feed our body. Number three, it provides energy to our cells to support processes for function or they would die off. So that kind of goes back to the whole organs and cells dying off. If they don't have oxygen, they're going to die off and we're going to lose a whole lot of functions that we really need to be healthy. I think that's something to be extremely grateful for. Number four, it converts a chemical in our blood called angiotensin one and two to help control our blood pressure. Who would have thought that our lungs help control our blood pressure? I think that's interesting. And number five, it regulates the pH of our blood by increasing or decreasing the amount of carbon dioxide in our bloodstream. And the pH, I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, that might be something interesting for you to look up, but the pH of our blood is very important. And if that's out of whack, I did look to see what some of the side effects of an unbalanced pH level in your blood might be. It includes breathing problems, malaise or fatigue, it can cause a decrease in your level of consciousness, and confusion, disorientation, and it can cause heart problems. That's what your lungs do. And then just an interesting fact, which I guess I could say is number six, but an interesting fact that I never really thought of is our lungs are the only organ in our body that are exposed to external environment. That's weird to me. Like, it's not weird, but it's an interesting concept. It's just neat to think about. Okay, so that's what I found about the lungs, and I'm extremely grateful for every single one of those functions. Next week, we are going to focus on our kidneys. So we need to find five things about our kidneys that we're grateful for. And then as far as exercises go, we're going to do our 25 seconds of walking in place. We're going to do our let me stand up for this so you can see what I'm talking. Susie can do it, so can I. You're gonna see Jen exercise on camera for the first time ever. Excuse my mess. I guess I, I probably could have stopped talking while I was doing this, but that made it too easy. Okay, so this is not the best angle, but I've never tried to even shoot from an angle like this before. I'm about ready to go get one of the kids and ask them to film me, but hopefully this will work. So once an hour during a commercial break, Stand up, walk in place. And then you're gonna do your 10 reps of your bicep curls. And I'm not doing all 10 because I won't be able to talk afterwards. And you're gonna do 10 reps of, what is it called, shoulder presses. So up, down. Up, down. Up, down. That's what that is. Hopefully you guys can join us on that challenge. Susie does have a webpage and we do some chit chatting about the challenge there. And like I said, I'll make sure that's linked down in the comments below. I would love for you guys to join us. Come over, just ask to join the Facebook page and we'll let you in and then you can participate. And even if you don't wanna to come to the Facebook page and join in, you can still participate in the challenge. Feel free to leave comments or questions at any time down below. If you haven't already, if you would give me a thumbs up, I would appreciate it. If you would consider hitting that subscribe button down in the corner and joining my YouTube family, I would absolutely love to have you. And until next time, guys, get that health back and keep on smiling. Bye.